Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. I am going to uh, record a video just for tonight. Studying the Word. Sorry I missed last week. It uh, was one of them things. Uh, this morning I lost a very dear friend of mine. He was my mentor, my teacher, my brother, my friend. And I've thought about him quite a bit today. Imagine that. The brother was about the only man I ever met that literally taught by example. He lived his religion. He was one of these people that could not see wrong in no one. He only seen the good side of them. And uh, <clears throat> he had a large influence on a lot of people's lives, including my own and my wife's. Uh, now we all know that it takes Jesus to do us any real good but he uses people he uses situations he uses critters he uses objects he uses whatever he wants for his will and to get us to come around to what he's wanting and he used a hot dog and brother Marion to get me to come around to him the only man that I ever wanted to get a hug from. The only, well, I shouldn't say the only, but uh, he, he is, uh, he had a very sincere hug about him. And there was a whole lot of us that looked forward to getting our Uncle Edgar hug, our brother Marion hug. He had plenty of names. People knew him from all different realms. He was a preacher and a teacher, a choir director, a father, a grandfather, an uncle. And people out of all of these different realms and the teacher, he touched their lives in a large way. And he was that kind of a guy. And he liked to tell us, and there's a video I did of him, when I last got to go see him a few months ago. And he said, we were commanded to go. Don't sit here and hide. Don't get in the closet. Don't be a closet Christian. <clears throat> and yes, I'm ad living. But go. Go and spread the good news. Go and spread the gospel. And the best way to teach is by example. And he taught by example. I truly loved a man. I really did. I learned so much from him. He, uh, as my best friend, his nephew, used to say, he's the biggest little man I ever seen. And he was a little bitty feller. He was five foot something. You know, barely shoulder high to me. I was probably over a head taller than him. Uh, matter of fact, when he hugged me, his head rested on my chest. And he couldn't have weighed 100 pounds soaking wet. But uh, he had this way of looking over them glasses at you. And you would know. You done disappointed Uncle Edgar. You don't want to disappoint Uncle Edgar. Good man. Good man. Uh, we all need to learn from him. We need to learn to teach by example. I have videos out where I have told people that you never know who's watching you. And we don't. You never know who's listening to you. And we don't. I've also said that to me, the biggest sin is to 
cause somebody to stumble in their walk with the Lord. This man, he would encourage you, pick you up when someone else caused you to stumble. Uh, when we lost our boy, although his health was not doing good, he was there for us. Uh, he was up there and helped to do the, uh, the funeral for our boy. Whenever you had issues, buddy boy, he was listening. Was he perfect? No. And he would tell you that. He, uh, told us that someone had gave him a cigar once in his younger years. And he tried a cigar and they got a hold of him. And it took a little while, but he kicked that habit. Uh, had a bad round of depression. So if you mention depression at all, he'd tell you, boy, my ears perk up. He said, depression's a rough one, and it is. That depression caused him to stay away from the church for a while. I did not know him then. This was his testimony. But he kept his faith in the Lord. He told us that. And there are many a pe person, I'm sure not just me and my wife, that met the man, got to know the man, saw the man walking the walk, not just talking the talk. He walked the walk. And there was something about him that just drew you to him and wanted him to help you learn. <clears throat> I got that look over them glasses a few times. Believe it or not, I'm a little contrary at times. And he was teaching the Sunday school, and if, if I had questions, I asked. And every once in a while, I'd get that look. I'd just smile at him. <laughs> yeah. But now he told me, he says, I love having you in my class. He had several of us truck drivers that uh, he liked having in his class or in his life. But the point is, is we lost a good man today. We lost a good example today. He, uh, he was ready to go. He had been in my life, I don't know, 10, 12 years. And uh, maybe longer, I don't know. I don't remember when we actually met. But he helped to bring me to the Lord. He helped me to learn a lot about the Lord. And I tell you, I'm happy for him that he got to go because he had really been yearning to go. However, I'm selfish. I didn't want to let him go. And there's a whole lot of that down here. A whole lot that don't want to let him go. But we must. So, this is memory to my good friend and my mentor, Brother Marion. He always said that he had a bunch of questions for Paul. When I get to heaven, I got some questions for Paul. I imagine Paul's been a little bit busy today. The good Lord has got himself another good soldier up there with him. We lost a good example and a fine Christian man. Brother, I love you. I miss you already. I know you yearn to be where you're at. And you deserve to be where you're at. But us down here on earth, we're the selfish ones. We didn't want you to go. I'm glad you're out of your pain, bro. I really am. Brother, I love you. Y'all remember, God loves you. So do I. Y'all have a blessed evening. And remember, go.